Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the huge SMG buff in the latest patch update that went live yesterday, January the 13th. And when the notes came out, I was uh, reviewing them, and I noticed that there's a lot of changes to the submachine guns in the game, so I decided to try them out. And I've noticed a really big difference when it comes to getting kills in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with these submachine guns. So, I'm going to read off all the buffs for you guys, because there are some that apply to a specific submachine gun in the game, and then there's others that apply to all the subs in the game. So, before I do that on screen right now is what the aim assist range was before the patch and as you guys can see it really wasn't that far and a lot of competitive players didn't use some machine guns because the ADS drop rate or the ADS assist drop rate was just so bad and you could also argue that the errors in the game were a lot better than the submachine guns for competitive so that's why you usually didn't see a lot of people run SMGs in competitive play in the, in the recent MLG Vegas event that took place a couple weeks ago so uh, if you guys were questioning that then that is why and even pretty much whenever the game first came out nobody ran subs in competitive play because the aim assist drop rate was just just so bad but now as you guys can see I do in fact pick up the enemy player from this range and even a little bit further so uh, now this aim assist range only applies to the ERAD the Karma 45 and the HVR and uh, here's what the drop rate was before and after the recent patch update so as you guys can see there is a pretty much a uh, really big difference between these two and this uh, yeah it actually might go a little bit further than the building I'm not all too sure I really just wanted to test out the same spot so I can kind of scale what the drop rate was before with what it is now so the new range is at 1400 inches so just keep in mind that it's going to be a little bit further than where my guy is at right now but not by a lot just a little bit further and uh, so yeah and now for the RPR Evo and the FHR 40 their aim assist ranges are actually lower to 1200 maybe because because these other two SMGs are, are a lot better. They do have a faster fire rate than the other three SMGs. I don't know. I really don't know why they decided to lower that. But yeah, it's at 1200. And here's what it looks like on screen right now. And then next up, we have the Mac Tab 45. Its range is actually the highest out of any of the submachine guns in the game. And it's at 1500 inches, which is extremely far. And I definitely could see the UMP or the Mac Tab 45 becoming one of the new subs metas for competitive. But again, yesterday I played with every single SMG in the game. And I've noticed a big difference when it comes to getting kills. I've been getting some really crazy kills and you're gonna see some of the gameplay on screen right now so go try the smgs out for yourselves and let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments and also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching i'm a verts have a great rest of the day till next time i'll catch you guys later